in the entire kingdom of England. One man stood proud and tall before the population, claiming to know all of its sins. The summoner was a man of the church commissioned to call out what he saw as sin in the eyes of God. He was supposed to represent good, upholding and supporting God's values and commands. However, an excess of power can corrupt even the most morally righteous of men. The summoner had an appearance unlike the other companion on his future journey. He wore clothes as any man of the church would wear, but his face was what some called incredibly ugly. His fire-red, cherubinish face scared children that walked by, and his black, scabby brow and thin beard covered his boils and scars. His amazingly bad breath only worsened his aura. His appearance was enough to turn heads, but the man still stood in great confidence. Despite meeting people every day, he held a passion for poignant food. He liked onions, or garlic he loved, a reflection of his poor manners. The summoner, like many men of the time, was an addict, an alcoholic. He loved to drink and knew that with the power he held, he was able to bend or form any rules he wanted. He allowed only those who brought him wine to be cleansed of their sins, and punished all others who didn't abide by his laws. This punishment would be to their coin purses, rather than to their souls. The summoner's corruption allowed his power to expand beyond the regular bounds of the clergy. He has the ability to control his diocese, for he knew their secrets. They did what he said. Nothing escaped his eyes nor ears. He corrupts the system for his own pleasure and gain. His general incompetence did not stop there. The summoner, ironically, being a member of the church, did not know Latin, save a few words to flaunt his intellectual supremacy. Working in church courts allowed him to learn but one phrase, Questio quaeduris, the question is, what is right? His response to every accusation of his incompetence. As you can see, the summoner was a horrible man. He drank, lied, misrepresented the church, and did not practice religion faithfully. His existence seemed to be for the sole purpose of mocking and exposing the corruption that existed in the church, as if he was made to be every woman's worst dream and every child's nightmare. The summoner was a hideous man with a tainted soul.